Welcome back to Math Party people. In this question here, we're gonna deal with a percent word problem. And as always, we're gonna begin with the question. So first things first, how much did David pay at checkout? Let me pause right here, right now, because this is the moment where most people make the first mistake. And this is where we can get the question wrong very quickly. So again, we don't just say, what do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? Or start with the question. We don't just say that to make you feel good. We say that to make sure that you understand the goal. You understand where the finish line is. So let me be very clear. How much did David pay at checkout? That's what we're looking for. The final price. Okay. We are looking for the final price. Now it's very important to emphasize the goal, you know, especially as you're starting to use this strategy for the first time for the simple reason being it's way too easy to look at what's given, listed at this price, this percent coupon. It's so easy to do 20% times this, and then you end up getting A, 231, but it's so easy to get it wrong just like that. Because if you apply a 20% coupon to that number, the result that you get would be the amount of the coupon, the dollar amount that you're saving, not the final price. So that's what I really want to emphasize to you in this video, my math party people. We, it's very important to understand what the question is asking you to find. That way, when you try to get to the solution right over here, if you do 20% times 1,158, if you perform this, you need to understand that the way the formula works is the percent that you have right over here. The percent that you have represents the result that you're going to get. And so what that means, my math party people, what that means is that the 20% that we're given, it represents the coupon, a coupon, a discount, however you'd like to say it. And now that we have that, again, since that's the percent we're applying, the result that we get also represents the amount of that coupon or that discount. So my part of people, let's go ahead and zoom in right there. Hopefully that makes sense. Remember, when it comes to applying the percent within the formula, the percent that you apply and the result, what's by itself after the equal sign, those represent the same idea. So let's get back to this here. And again, if we made the mistake of going through it like this and we did 0 0.2 multiplied by 1158, and again, we just unwittingly went ahead and did it, multiplied by 0 0.2, 8 times 6, 16, that's 10 and 11, that's 2, then 3, and then 2. If we ended up doing that, and we see that we have one decimal place, so one decimal place there, making it $231.60. If you did that, again, the biggest takeaway is knowing that that represents the amount of the discount. And so you're not done. The answer is not A. It is not going to be A. And look, I know how awesome it is to watch these videos, but how much better would it be to actually sit in a live Zoom class with me, being able to answer your questions and show you how to get things done back to back to back? I got your back. Go ahead and join our program trial. It's free for a full week. I am so confident that it'll help you raise your score that I'm not even requiring a credit card for you to sign up. All you have to do is confirm your email and phone number and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the link in the description or text trial to 833-321-0182. And I'll see you there, my ASVAB party people. Let's raise that score. So let's understand that and let's move forward to know that if we just wanted to find the final price, well, we already have the original price from the beginning, that 1,158. And we have the discount. We have how much we're taking off. So 231.60. Excellent. So we can actually subtract this and just get the final answer. But again, you have to know what the numbers represent. If you don't know what the numbers represent, then you're putting yourself in a position to not know when you have your final answer. So here we go. We'll go ahead and borrow one, then borrow one again. And we actually didn't need to do that at all for the second one. Excuse me there. So we'll have 10 minus six, which is four. And then we have seven minus one, which is six, five minus three, which is two, 
11 minus 2, which is 9. So we have $926.40. That right there, that is what David will pay at checkout. And that is shown in answer choice D. So there it is. Or answer choice C, excuse me there. So again, there it is, my math party people. I really hope that you know, this was enjoyable. Percent word problems aren't the easiest thing in the world. And that's why I would really enjoy it if you commented on this video, if you want to see more percent questions like this one and harder. That way I can give you the content that you want to raise your score and get the job you want. Again, my name is Coach Anderson. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah. And check the link in the description to learn about our free classes once a week. All right, guys. See ya. Before you go, if you feel like these videos are worth my time and worth me making for you, then go ahead and show your love. Like the video, comment on it, subscribe for more. That way we know which videos you do like and which ones you could use a little less of. That way we make better decisions, better videos for you, and everybody wins. Do that, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's ace the ASVAB.